Welcome back to the Anything and Everything show. Today we have a special guest who has a fantastic YouTube channel and it's all about keeping it real. So without further ado, please welcome Dee to the show. Thank you Dee for your time today. Please tell our viewers what it is you specialise in on YouTube. To be honest, I don't specialise in anything at the moment. I started the channel to show realness and um, how a real woman goes about everyday life like a young adult black woman in London how she does her makeup how she goes out how she eats um, fashion just everyday life just to show because everyone's so perfect on YouTube and I want to show the realness you know the rawness of it so can you tell us what made you decide to share with others on how to apply makeup I watch a lot of other YouTubers and influencers. I have a few that I really like, really like. Um, and I kind of thought to myself, like, I could do that. The ones I watch are quite real. Um, but then again, they are, like, really good at editing, really good at making their videos look immaculate. So it's sort of like, well, it's real, but is it? You know what I'm trying to say? Um, so... Yes, yeah, so I used to, I, I don't used to, I used to still watch them, I watched them, and I thought to myself, do you know what, I want to express my creativity just like they're expressing theirs, so I want to try that too, but I wanted mine to be different to everyone else's, I know people say, oh, you know, kind of go with the flow of everyone, but I wanted mine to be completely different, I wanted mine to be realness, like me, real life, how a woman would do her makeup, no professional experience, like, no ball, no perfect application, no cutting out all the bad bits. Like, how a real woman does her makeup and, and the problems that she faces while doing it. And going out and, and, you know, like me, I have allergies. So, I mean, the, the last video I uploaded was my ultimate fail, makeup fail. And <laughs> it wasn't even supposed to be a fail. Initially, it was supposed to be a normal get ready with me, going to my dad's kind of a year, meeting the family video watch what I'm doing for my makeup, and I completely mucked it all up, like, I was filming myself doing my makeup, but when I was doing it, like, I put this on, I put so much stuff on my face, um, and then obviously I had my hay fever, was, re it was really bad that day, so all underneath my eyes were kind of dry, and like, when it was watering, it was rubbing off the makeup, and I thought to myself, do you know what, I'm gonna... I'm gonna fit, I'm gonna upload it as this is real. This is what my channel. This is what I want my channel to be about. Like I want them to see how it's like. You know, the, any woman out there who's experienced having really bad hay fever or allergies. You know, my face was full of rash. The makeup just about covered it. Under my eyes was all sore and horrible. And I tried to put makeup on top of it because that's what stupid people do. And it flopped. And that's why I uploaded the video because I thought, you know what. To kind of start off my channel, that's the perfect thing to do. So that's why I decided to share um, with others how I apply makeup. But my channel is about more things than makeup, even though at the moment it is quite focused on getting ready with me. And um, that's because that's kind of what I, I'm used to watching and what I'm used to doing at the moment. Do you wear makeup often? Not often enough. Not often enough. Um, I work a full-time job and I've got to be upset up at 6, sometimes I'm up late at like 6.30, but I've got to be up at 6, and I just don't have the energy, like, I love my sleep, I would rather go to bed at 11, wake up at 6, and just have my clothes ready, have a shower, bish, bash, bosh, I'm out, like, I don't have, want to have time to be trying to fix eyebrows and eyelashes and all that sha blah before work, I'm too tired, so, I'll tell you, Monday to Friday, I'm barefaced, I'm very comfortable in my own skin, um, and because I have sensitive skin, wearing makeup a lot isn't really ideal for me. Um, even though, to be honest, I would love to look dolled up every day, but I kind of like being natural as well because it kind of makes people see me normal, and then when I do dress up, it's like, wow, rather than, oh, you look like that every day. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of people out there that wear makeup every day, and that's good for them. Um, and when they actually dress up to go out, their face doesn't look that different. They don't look like, oh, my, wow. And I like that wow factor of doing makeup as well, so that's why I kind of only do it on the weekends and I'm not even on the weekends I only do um, basic like no eyeshadow I just kind of do eyelashes mascara and a little bit of concealer and foundation um but you know 
I see people on the train 7 a.m. in the morning with their face doled up, looking all sweet and nice. And I think, that's good for you, girl. You go, because that's just not me. But you go, girl. How much do you roughly spend on makeup? On average, I probably spend about 35 to 60 pounds on makeup. But every six months or so, like, I don't really buy a lot of makeup. Um, I always kind of budget myself with makeup because I feel so that it can last longer than what people make it out to be. Do you know what I mean? Um, but clothes? Nah. Don't even ask about clothes. I can easily spend French pound like that. Like, bam. On 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 shop online shopping and online shopping as well. I'm like I think I have a problem. I might be a shopaholic, but you know that that is my weakness. Makeup is not really my weakness. Clothes is my weakness. Um, but yeah, yeah. Do you have any best brands of makeup that you would use and would recommend to others? I mostly use like Superdrug and Boots kind of drugstore brands so like l'oreal maybelline them kind of ones um i think those are the best go-to brands if you're going on a budget i'm always on a budget well i try to be um but that's in my opinion i have invested in more high-end ones like estee lauder nars and mac to me that's high-end i know there's probably more expensive ones than those but 34 pound on a foundation to me is like ah i could buy an outfit for that price do you know what i mean so um, that is that that is above my budget. But if I had to choose for budgeting, I would say L'Oreal and um, True Match foundation is amazing for me. Um, and for splurging out, Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation is amazing for me. I haven't really tried out lots of other brands because I don't make enough money to be just buying it to try it. Do you know what I mean? Like I have to buy it and I'll be using it. I'll be using it. Um, Makeup Revolution is really good also. I think Makeup Revolution Pro is really good for like eyeshadows um, and just the basics like eyebrow pencils and stuff that you need that's basic. Beauty blenders and stuff like that. They are really good. I use them. My makeup blends very well. So no complaints there. Um, I could list so many other ones but I will be here forever. But yeah. So I'll say L'Oreal, Estee Lauder and Makeup Revolution are my three top three that I would, I would say. And lastly, please give the name of your channel so our viewers can tune in and subscribe to you. So my channel is Realist D, and I have to get Realist because it's R E A L I Z T D E E. Realist D. Um, yeah, so follow me um, on my Instagram and my Snapchat is at Sugar D, um, and my YouTube channel is Realist D. Subscribe if you wanna, you know. Keep up to date in my videos. Hit that notification bell. Share it with your friends and family if they want to see real life, real women. How they, you know, black girl living in London who's like just unfiltered. There's no filter, nothing. So parents' advisory is warned because <laughs> it's not filtered at all. And um, yeah, so yeah, just follow me and subscribe to my channel. It's Realist D. Thanks for having me. Thank you once again for your time today. It's been fab having you on our show. I definitely recommend our viewers tuning in. It's such great entertainment and real. I love your latest vlog, your trip and the Beyonce concert. I felt I was actually there experiencing the whole thing with you. Anyway, until the next time, keep it real. <laughs>